Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll talk about how to import categories, products, features, brands, and suppliers. So let's get started. I have opened up localhost PrestaShop slash the name of my admin folder inside my PrestaShop folder. So I have clicked on catalog and products, and this is what I will see the list of all the products. But I want to import uh, data, whether it's a product, categories, attributes, brands. So I'll click on this import icon right here and I can select anything from here what I want to import in PrestaShop. PrestaShop provide us a specific kind of format that we need to follow in in order to import anything okay so rather than uh, trying out different things uh, and uh, try to import things what we need to do is we need to download the sample CSV file from here and we can modify that csv file and then import that csv file and that will help us to follow the proper format so first of all let's click on sample categories right here it has been downloaded now click on categories and it will open up in microsoft excel so this is what uh, is opened uh, it is not in a proper column and row format it is in a semicolon separated format okay so what I need to do is I need to click on new and create a new Excel file rather than directly opening that CSV file in Excel sheet. First of all, we need to click on data and from data we need to click on from text and we need to select that file categories underscore import. Okay. And here uh, we can see that it is semicolon separated so click on delimited click on next and we need to click on semicolon separated right here and uncheck that tab okay so click on next click on finish click ok alright so it has been converted into row and column format and you can see that first column represents the category ID Second column represents whether it's active or not. Third is the name of category and fourth one is the name of the parent category that belongs to this name of that category. There is not root category. It only works in multi-store. Uh, that is a pretty advanced topic and later on in future videos I will see whether we want to work on the multi-store uh, Presta shop and hopefully I'll do it. Okay, and then we can add a description of category, meta title, meta keywords, and then meta description, URL rewritten, and image URL. And we don't need these uh, URL and image of these categories. All right. So what is this first column represent? This is the category ID. And if I go and click on the categories from here, and it shows that delete all categories before import and it shows us a field separator and a multi value separator as well okay but in microsoft excel we know that the multi value separator can be anything but a field separator must be a comma separated uh, i don't know presta shop uh, works on the semicolon separator value but uh, rather than converting it back to the semicolon separated value we can only save it if I click on the save and go to the drop down we can see that we can only save this file as a comma separated CSV file it is not a semicolon separated CSV file okay so before importing anything we need to change it from semicolon to colon and for a multi-value separator it can be anything so I'll go with the semicolon okay that means that if we add multi values within one column and that should be separated with semicolon and each column is separated with a comma actually okay so we need to delete all the previous categories that already exists and this is the force all id numbers okay uh, it means that if we add the ID numbers right here, it will use these IDs uh, along with each category. If we don't write IDs right here, then it will not force the IDs from that CSV file. Instead, it will create the IDs itself. 
starting from 0 or 1 and it will keep on incrementing the integer values all right so we don't need uh, these ids i want the presto shop to automatically generate these ids and these are the active one means active and zero means deactive so i want all the categories to be active but i want to change the categories okay so first category let's open up my uh, site uh, not my but uh, whatmobile.com.pk and i need to fetch few categories from here first of all the parent category would be mobiles okay so i want to create a category and name it mobiles and it doesn't have any parent category i don't want uh just from here and delete everything okay so mobiles don't have parent category now i have the second category inside the mobile i can have multiple brands of mobiles so first of all uh, i write iphone and then i write samsung okay and the iphone has the parent category that is mobiles samsung has the parent category that is mobiles and the parent categories needs to be added before the child categories okay so uh, it doesn't have a root category we can add a description meta title and so many things okay so these are the categories that has been added in these three rows okay we can add further categories we can have another subcategory of iphone or samsung and that will have the parent samsung or iphone okay we can add a multiple level or the hierarchy of mobile phones all right so let's save it and try to import this category in our presto shop so first of all let's go and click on save and click on csv comma delimited and cat csv okay and let's save it to desktop and click on save click ok click yes and inside the import let's upload the file desktop cat csv open and we want to delete all the previous categories yes uh, i want to delete and we don't want to force the ids because i haven't added the ids and we don't have we haven't added the thumbnails in the categories so good for now field is being separated with the comma okay not the semicolon so that's why i have changed it to the comma so let's click on next click ok and it will show a few seven or eight top categories whether we want to import the products or the categories it will show only seven or eight just for our help that whether everything is uh, set to a specific column because this is the name that is set to the name this is the active this is set to the name make sure you match these column labels to these drop downs okay so this has the parent category if we want to go to the next we don't add it uh, anything else okay so let's click on import and it has been 100% validated means that the format has been 100% followed that is recommended by presta shop and it will take some time uh, and it will import all the categories okay so it has been imported now click on close if i go to my front end of the site and it will show up right here mobiles and the iphone and the samsung okay if we want to manage it in our own way it uses a module just click on this modules modules and services from here click on installed modules this main menu is being shown with the help of a module developed by presto shop so these are the uh, installed modules in our presto shop so we need to search a specific module and that is just use menu and click on search and this is the menu click on configure so you can see that on the left side we have the mobiles and that's why the mobiles is being shown at the top in the main menu okay and uh, we can add further things from here inside our selected items and that will also be shown in our top level main menu bar all right but we only want to add the mobiles at the uh, menu level so our categories has been imported all right so now let's import products 